if you missed our last video, we finished a two week road trip around Bulgaria and jumped on an overnight train that took us from Sofia to Istanbul. After a better than expected journey, we arrived at our Airbnb, had a lazy night in so we could hit the town fresh this morning. We have decided for breakfast, we're gonna have a coffee and a simmet. I got you one with Nutella. This city is beautiful. To be honest, when we came here, we expected a certain level of chaos, kind of akin to Cairo and Egypt, but everything's so clean and ordered and- Efficient. Efficient, really efficient. Really efficient. Yeah. We were also really nervous that we wouldn't sleep very well because we are staying right near Taksim Square, which means there's a lot of noise because there's a lot of people, but we were out like logs. Right here is Taksim Square. It's one of the main central hubs for kind of the modern Istanbul. It is a little bit of a transportation hub too. There's buses and trams and there's an underground beneath our feet that's one of the biggest in the world. It is beautiful here. I feel like we're getting it on a very special time though because tomorrow is national day so there are just flags everywhere, people everywhere. I love it. Yeah, what are the chances of that? There were already so many flags here when we got in yesterday and now there's like triple. They're everywhere, it's crazy. It's so pretty. We don't have much planned for today because Istanbul is such a big city. We got a bit overwhelmed trying to figure out what we wanted to do. So we just kind of want to enjoy the day. Definitely want to try and get to the Blue Mosque and the Grand Bazaar, but that's about it. Picked up some coffees and a local simmet with Nutella for breakfast. Have fun. <laughs> we got a transport card from the train we caught in, so hopefully we can load that up and use it. <laughs> mm. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. The first stop was meant to be the blue mosque that's behind me, but they're shut for prayer until 2.30. Luckily, I'm pretty sure the Grand Bazaar is like a 20 minute walk from here. So I think that's where we're gonna go. I want some baklava and Jordan wants some rose Turkish delight. in the 1600s 
and it's dangerous to walk with a camera because there's so many people here. So many people, but it's so pretty, and you still kind of find some alleyways that are a bit quieter. But now to find some back uh, uh, <laughs> Don't they, baby? Uh, uh, next year. Next year. <laughs> people are really nice, though. They're all so kind about it, like they want you to go in and shop but they also want you to have a good time. Even if you say no, they're still like kind and polite. Yeah. I like and it. I want to find some Turkish delight though. Yeah. So that's the first mission in the bazaar. Rose is this one. Right? You can try each. Please. Oh really? Please go ahead. Thank you. She can try as well. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. We got to sample the rose Turkish delight. Amazing. We got a bunch of other ones. I have no idea what the flavors are. So we're gonna guess, but we're gonna wait until we've left the Grand Bazaar because it's a bit noisy in here. The Grand Bazaar is so much fun and something I found super interesting is there's all these, I keep calling them tea guys, walking around with like a silver plate full of Turkish tea and it looks like they go around and service all of the store people. It's really cool. It looks really yummy too. I know. I wish we could order some. <laughs> so busy. There's still two whole hours until the Blue Mosque even opens for tourists, so we've come to grab some lunch. We're hoping it's not going to be too busy at the Blue Mosque, but it is packed in the Hippodrome and all around it. But we can't figure out if it's tourists to see the Blue Mosque or if it's locals because it's about to be Republic Day. Either way, it's jam-packed for the most people we have seen, so hopefully we can get into the Blue Mosque because I really want to see it. But Jordan really wanted to try some pea day because neither of us have had it before, so I think that's what we're going to go for. And then you have your Turkish delights to try. Nice. This is Iran, which is a local Turkish drink. It's got yogurt and salt. Not for me. <laughs> it tastes like hot milk. <laughs> you know, the second sip it grows on you a little bit. That first one's quite a shock. again no will I probably finish that one yes this is a test because I'm a dairy guy I like milk and I like cheese and I like yogurt but it kind of tastes like sour cream <laughs> sour cream and yogurt no thank you so we went for the traditional Turkish pea day been told it's pretty much like Turkish pizza but then I also know that Turkish pizza is a thing too so <laughs> getting all turned around Basically, bread, meat, we got mince meat in this, some cheese, some tomatoes, some capsicum, peppers. Fold it a little bit and cook in the oven. Mm. Tastes really good. I was just, he was on the chair, like wrapped up in a blanket. I went to pet him, and the owner came over and was like, just take him. I was like, he picked him up and shoved him in my arms. He's purring. Well, we can't leave now. Ah, well, we live here now. Bye, buddy. <laughs> the people are so nice here. We finished lunch, it was delicious. We still have like an hour and a half until the mosque actually opens to visitors. But we just remembered we have Turkish delight. It's all different colors. There's definitely rose in here, but then there's yellow and orange and like a I don't want to say brown, but all right, trying the brown, maybe green one. Ooh, very green. Guess what flavor? Apple. Lime. This is mint flavor. Ooh, yum. Really nice. Oh, wow, really yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mmm, like spearminty. Yellow, any guesses? Lemon. Should be lemon, right? Might be the plain one. There's not much flavour there. Oh. <laughs> this has got to be rose. Pretty. Rose? I'm a big fan. Mm. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna sit here for like an hour and wait for this mosque to open and then I think we're gonna try and walk back to the apartment. It's about an hour and a half walk, but it should be along the coast and it's straight up here.
We're in the Blue Mosque now and it's pretty beautiful but it's still under construction unfortunately so we only get to see a small section but the roof is covered in 20,000 hand-painted blue tiles which is just crazy. I did read online that the Sultan decreed that each tile should cost the same for the entire project so they started off really high quality but then as the price of tiles increased and they were still paying the same amount the quality of the tiles decreased a little bit. You can't tell though, it's so pretty. stopping to put their shoes on and it bottlenecks into like a line of two people so that's pretty intense i only got one shoe on that mosque would be incredible if it wasn't under construction still you know under construction for a few years and it's still got a couple of years left i read online that it was meant to be finished in 2020 so i got all excited only for jordan to confirm it said 2024 yeah and then that's like maybe but it would be really awesome if it was there and fully done very 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 busy like very busy i don't know if we're somehow in the peak of the tourist season but whew, I don't, a lot. yeah it's tourist plus it seems like a lot of locals because of the republic day like mm. it is just packed everywhere yeah everywhere now we're going to start a one and a half hour walk all the way back to the pub whew. Another fun fact I read was that they put this chain on because the Sultan was the only person that could enter the mosque on horseback. The chain's height would make him have to bow, so it meant the Sultan kept his humility. Pretty cool. Just at the bottom of the Blue Mosque, don't even know what this is. But it's cool, another market. It's kind of like the bazaar, but it's a lot calmer out here than it was in there. <laughs> And the port, just like everywhere else, so busy. So many fishermen fishing over the bridge as well. It's so interesting. It's cool to see. So many cruises. There's three massive cruise ships and they just like set with the city in the background. I feel like you just get a massive perspective of how big cruise ships are. Here we are back at Taxim Square. Lots of people still. I feel like it really hasn't kicked off yet though. I think tomorrow is when it really goes crazy. Guess how many steps we did today? 22,599. 22,000. Wow, no wonder I'm tired. Yeah, and our Airbnb is on the fifth floor of a no elevator building. I had a great day though, I love Istanbul. I love Istanbul and I was reluctant to say it because we haven't done any research at all, but we've been to places where police are like gangs almost. They're just sitting on their phone smoking, you go up and you ask them something and they'll just like look at you and laugh at you. But here, they are so courteous and respectful and organized and like everything seems to be running really, really well and they seem so friendly. Yeah. It's really nice. It's great. 